Paris Saint-Germain drew Barcelona out to the Champions League hat again, but the champions needed to turn their thoughts back to domestic matters. Four minutes into their Friday night meet with Lorient, Zlatan Ibrahimovic gave them the lead from the spot. Well, it stayed 1-0 until the 67th minute when the park was silenced by former Marseille forward Jordan Ayew. He finished off a fine team move with a drilled finish past Salvatore Sirigu. But Paris were awarded another spot kick after Lamine Kone felled Javier Pastore. Ibrahimovic stepped up. And this was his seventh successful spot kick of this season. Well, the Swedish international sent off in the Champions League against Chelsea and following his outburst in the defeat to Bordeaux last week, had the last word here as the 33-year-old did his talking with his feet. A second hat-trick and 17th for the season and a clear message for his critics. Well, that result put PSG top. Could Lyon respond? They hosted Nice without suspended trio Samuel Umtete, Henri Pedimo and Alexander Zacazette. And they went behind through Carlos Eduardo's sensational overhead kick. Certainly missing their defensive duo. With Lacazette missing, Lyon had failed to win the four previous matches. But they did get back on level terms against the 10 men. Maxime Gonolons scoring from the resulting penalty. But Bakary Kone fouled ex Leon youth Aslan Plea. And Vladin Ezerek's first in almost over a year, easing Nice's relegation fears. After a goalless first half, Marcelo Bielsa sent on Michi Batshuayi. And the Belgian had the desired effect for Marseille as he gave OM the lead away to Lons. Marseille ending four months without an away win at Toulouse and Marseille continued on the goal hunt. Alexi Romeo followed up Dimitri Payet's free kick for 2-0. And two became three when neat work between Andre Ayu, Batshuayi and Benjamin Mendy allowed Ayu, the Ghanaian international, to slot home on the slide. Well, Ayu then turned architect in the final minute showing great skill and determination. A little bit of luck. When Rio saved at his feet, Batshuayi got his second. Six in his last six. Marseille, 4-0 winners. Monaco travelled to Rance and Jao Matinho's delicious ball releasing Fabinho on the right. The Brazilian striking a cross goal for his first top flight strike. Anthony Martial then added an even sweeter second to put Leonardo Jardim's men on easy street. At four in his last three for the teenager. Diego Rigonato ruined Martin Stecklenberg's league debut in for the injured Daniel Subasic. He couldn't do anything to stop the Brazilian's ball across his face. But sub Nabil Dirar made sure of any comeback was snuffed out. Monaco in pole position for the final European spot. Satetian are still right in the mix and finally find the breakthrough against 10-man Leo. Max Gradel with a smart turn and finish. It was Ronnie Lopez for a straight red card for a lunge. It left Leo in bother. It was Vincent Inyema who had to avoid Marco Bassa scoring an own goal, but it led to an indirect free kick. And Gradel was able to get his second and tenth of the season to secure the points for Lever. The Ivorian Hitting double figures for Lever for the first time. Christophe Galtier's Green Army still on track. Well, Bordeaux needed to keep in touch but fell behind to Toulouse as Wissam Ben Yedder gave new coach Dominique Arebaje the perfect start in the Garonne derby. The strikers 10th of the season. Alan Casanova had lost his job at Le Stadium and the defensive problems persisted as Diego Roland punished them with his fourth in three. Jean Biak secured only a third win in 15 in all competitions for Toulouse and breathed new life into their survival bid. Terrific ball across, dominant header. All three points to the hosts. Oh, 
another with a boost is Evian. Kevin Berego returned in Montpellier colours, but he left with nothing after Clark in Sekulu started and finished the move. It sees Pascal Dupre's men stay at arm's length from the red zone. Poor Georges Intep did everything he could but lost his personal duel with Nantes, Remy Rio. As Rennes failed to win this Breton derby. Excellent save at his near post. And he would leave with a clean sheet. Nil nil, the final score. Well, Bastia never alone, that was the message from the fans who braved souls came from Corsica as Bastia were forced away from home after crowd disturbances. The match played in silence at third tier. Istres Stade Passement in Fossumer. Little was missed with visitors Gangon posing the bigger threat. Well, Bastia had been unbeaten in nine at home and they at least continued that. It was at least one highlight for a fan who proved it was worth the trip. Well, they didn't have the thrashing rain of the south, but there were equally no goals at the Stade Michel Dorono. Although Thomas Lamar's speculative effort was certainly the highlight crashing off the crossbar. Messi's last win came against Cannes. Since then, they haven't won in 17. They couldn't force one here and look destined for a Ligue 2 return. Well, Paris Saint-Germain remain unbeaten at home as Lyon lose at the Stade Gerland for only the second time. A first reverse after 12 without defeat. Marseille's back-to-back -back away successes keeps them in the mix. Well, Paris top at the end of the weekend for the first time this season. The champions back in pole as they hunt for a third straight title. But they're only two points between the top three and if Monaco win their game in hand it could be a four-horse race. Well, Lons a mess. Look, lost at the bottom, but any from Toulouse in 18th to Nice in 12th could be dragged into the battle. Toulouse gave their survival bid a boost with Lorient just two points clear after defeat in the capital. Well, Monaco could be three from the summit by the end of Friday, but Saint-Étienne will hope to steal fourth from the Principality. Lyon can return top if they remain undefeated against Gangon, but victory would mean they're possible winners as the Classico takes centre stage on Sunday night.